Mike Page from Fargo Rate here. As you likely know, a key to Fargo Ratings is getting us all connected through data. So we've been working for a couple of years on a new league management system called Fargo Rate LMS designed to do just that. Our vision is that all league players everywhere use Fargo Rate LMS to manage their leagues, and therefore we are all connected by Fargo Ratings. I want to give you here a little glimpse into who's already using LMS and what they're doing with it. But first, just briefly, some of the key features. There are tons of different formats supported by LMS. Singles, teams, three, four, five player teams, handicapped or not handicapped, scored by round, scored by match, different games, scored differently. Regardless of the format chosen, players in each individual division get web access to schedule, standings, and customizable stats. Some divisions using LMS are using mobile scoring now, and we're working on this capability for other divisions, and we're not far off. No more playing the Rubik's Cube generate a schedule game. Fargo Rate LMS will generate a schedule for you. And here's the big one, Fargo Rate integration. When a score sheet is entered into LMS, those games go directly into the Fargo Rate database, and they're included in the next optimization overnight. As you'll see shortly, many people are using these live updated Fargo ratings to handicap the league match. There are enough people using LMS that it's interesting to sort of survey how people are using it. We should be a little careful, though. People may not use LMS the same way in the future once they really come to realize the breadth of formats that are supported. First interesting thing is what size tables do people play league on? Well, of the 1,343 divisions, about 1,000 of the divisions have play on seven-foot tables. So most league plays on seven-foot tables. The remainder is about equally split between eight-foot and nine-foot tables. The eight-foot tables tend to be a little bit of a geographic anomaly. You'll find them in some parts of Texas, and you'll find them in Washington State, and pretty much no place else. What game do people play in league? As you can see, the vast majority of leagues are eight ball, maybe not surprising. Uh, the, the remainder are mostly nine ball with a few ten ball, and there's some leagues that are mixed, play multiple games. Of the thousand or so eight ball divisions, how are the games scored? Uh, on the left, you see by game. That's what we call the one-point scoring. You're just counting games. In the middle, the vast majority use ten-point scoring. The winner gets ten points of an eight-ball game. The loser gets the number of balls pocketed as points. The 17-point scoring on the right, uh, you can view as being like the ten-point scoring, but the winner gets an additional point for each ball left on the table by the opponent. So all game scores add to 17 in that system. There are some singles divisions run with LMS, but most divisions are teams. How many players are on a team? You can see here that about half of the divisions have five-player teams. That's the most common. And there's about an equal number. The other half split between three-player teams and four-player teams. And here's one that surprised us. Of the eight-ball divisions that use 10-point scoring, how many of them are unhandicapped? Turns out relatively few. The vast majority of such divisions are handicapped. And maybe this shouldn't be so surprising. Think about it. Leagues are basically a local group of players, and the cynical way to look at things is that the top players band together to form some stack teams and dominate the league and win all the time. The more charitable way to look at it is that the top players tend to be friends and acquaintances with other top players because they've been playing pool together for a long time. Newer and developing players tend to know other newer and developing players. So a wide range in team skill gaps is perhaps expected. So let's just see what this looks like. Here's a score sheet for a four-player team match. And this team consists of players rated about 300 on average, as you can see. And this is considerably lower than, than the other team. So they're awarded 11 points per round. With this 11 points, they win the first round, they win the third round, and they come within four points of winning the total uh, points for the night, which is treated as another round in this format. So this 11 points more or less did its job. Where did this come from? It comes from Fargo ratings. In the old days, people used ball average to determine these round handicaps. Fargo ratings does a better job, and it turns out Fargo ratings does a better job even if the players are not fully established and, are, and have ratings that are still influenced by starter ratings. You've seen some stats about people who are already using LMS. Who can start using LMS? You may be a group of people who haven't formed a league yet. You can most definitely get on LMS and use LMS. You may be an independent, so-called independent league. You can definitely get on LMS. You might be a single division sanctioned with some sort of national body. You can get on LMS. 
You might be a city league, you can get on LMS. You might be a state organization or regional organization, you can get on LMS. And you might actually be a national organization, you too can get on LMS. Okay, so what to do, how to get started with LMS. Well, there's two basic approaches, and, and they're detailed at fargoray.com slash LMS. But in a nutshell, you can either sign on through Q Sports International, CSI. CSI is the parent company of the BCA Pool League, BCA PL, uh, which is a sanctioning body, and also the USA Pool League. So if you uh, sanction with the BCA PL or join the USA Pool League, you get use of LMS uh, at no cost, and you get all things Fargo rate at no cost, including the advanced version of the player app. Alternatively, you can sign on with Fargo rate. You get full use of LMS, uh, all things Fargo Rate, the advanced version of the player app, and you pay $15 per player once a year to Fargo Rate. These options are both available to independent leagues, to new leagues, to leagues that are sanctioned with some other body and want to remain affiliated with that other body. You can still take either of these paths. So once again, FargoRate.com slash LMS is the place to go to take the next step. And thanks for listening.